Why well, folks, as you can see, my garden's up and growing now, but this year I've had an absolute nightmare with slugs. I've taken a few of my lettuces and a few of my cabbages and all sorts. So, although I'm not completely opposed to using slug pellets, I don't like to use them, so I'm going to give this stuff a go, which is your Nemesis Nemo slug, which is little um, nematodes, which apparently bore into the slug and kill them all under the soil. Cost, cost quite a bit, cost me a ten of this, but it's, it'll do twice this area. So I thought I'd give it a go. So what it says to do is, make sure your soil's moist first, wet, like I have done. I've given it a good flooding with some water. And it says to use a quarter of this packet into two gallons of water and put that over a quarter of, a quarter of your bed. So let's see how I can get this stuff out without spilling half of it. There's supposed to be absolutely millions. I think there's 12 million worms in this pack. Let's see if I can get it in this without spilling it all. Spilled a bit. So it just says give it a good old mix up for a while. And use a really coarse rose. Move that out of there so I don't wet it. Right then, so that's mixed up now. Ooh, so it's a matter of, all it says is just giving it a good old soaking with this stuff. So I'm going to put a quarter of the quarter of the mix and a quarter of the garden. I'm doing it double strength. I'm using this whole packet on the sort of half the area. It doesn't keep this stuff, so I might as well put twice as much down. Do it in the arm. So that's a quarter done. And then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to water in the little worms with the same amount of water. So anyway, I'll just get on and do the rest of my plot. I've got another three quarters to do, and then we'll see what happens. It all done now, all nematode it up. I'm just going to leave a little tiny bit in for me little Frankenstein thing, which I will now show you. Now, over the last few nights, I've been collecting, there you go, the little buggers that I'm trying to kill. So, we have a little collection of slugs which I've been feeding on Rocket. So, this is a bit of a control test. I'm, going to, I'm just going to give them a good old dose of that. So that's straight onto the slugs. It's all drained and I'll keep feeding them. We'll put them back to bed and I'll come back in a week and we'll see if they're still alive. Now if they're still alive then it obviously doesn't work very well. So we'll just give it a final watering in now, that's like, like they say. So I'll get on and do that. Right then, so that's about 20 watering cans I've put in now to water everything in. Hopefully. Done it exactly as directed. Slide it at the right rate. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a few little random stones and bits of wood about because you know all slugs tend to congregate under there. So I'll put these on, I've got stones everywhere and bits of wood and I'll check in about a week's time and if there's none lurking and I can't see any more damage done then obviously it has done the trick and it's worked so I'll give you a bit of an update in one of my next videos when I do a bit of a, a two weekly tour and we'll, we'll have a look under the things and see if there's any significant change, any less slugs and see if it's worked. So that's about it folks. See you later.